Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first is a parishioner in St. John the Baptist Parish in Halifax, Nova Scotia. In memory of her husband, her sister, and other deceased members of her family. And the second donor is the Ferraro family from Scarborough, Ontario, in Thanksgiving. Our thanks to both of you for the gift of this Mass. We celebrate the vote of Mass in honor of Our Lady. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, May we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. It is necessary to boast, though nothing is to be gained by it. But I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up in the third heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. Was caught up into paradise and heard things that are not to be told, that no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one, I will boast. But on my own behalf, I will not boast except of my weaknesses. But if I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth, but I refrain from it, so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me or heard from me, even considering exceptional character of the revelations. Therefore, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. 
the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, 
you of little faith. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. The Gospel of the Lord. By uh, our standards, Jesus was a poor man, a poor man who enriched the lives of others. If you went looking for him uh, that first Christmas, you'd find him in a manger, a feeding trough for animals. His family was not rich. They came from a little village in Galilee, looked down on by others. Can anything good come from Nazareth? Joseph was the uh, village handyman, and when he died, it would seem that uh, Jesus took over his work so as to get enough money to take care of himself and his mother. And then he left Nazareth, and for a few short years, we're told he had nowhere to lay his head, nowhere to call home. He depended on the hospitality of others. He depended on them for food and drink and a bed. And when he was on the road with his group of very ordinary followers, there must have been many nights when they slept rough, as we say. Yes, he, he had some friends near Jerusalem in Bethany, Martha and Mary and Lazarus, and they would give him a meal and, I suppose, a bed for the night when he came their way. But poor and all as he was, he enriched the lives of others. Uh, as then Master Tainat An wrote, when Jesus broke the bread and shared it with his disciples, he said, eat this, this is my flesh. He knew that if his disciples would eat one piece of bread in mindfulness, they would have real life. So, minus uh, a bank account, an expensive home, Indeed, for his last few years, no home at all. No money for expensive restaurants. He somehow or other reminds me of Jean Vanier, who always gives me the feeling that his clothes come from second-hand stores. Part of the Christian message is that our life is more than the food we eat, and our body more than the clothes we wear. Real living is not the same as expensive living. Real living is a way of life that enriches others. So, not what will I eat, or what will I drink, or what will I wear, but will my way of living promote the kingdom of God, God's priorities? And uh, my take on what we call the final exam, when we come face to face with God, is that uh, God will make a statement and then ask a question. You may have heard me say this before. The statement... I gave you life. 
The question, were you a life giver? Life givers listen. Life givers laugh. Life givers make time for the last, the least, the lost, and the little. God feeds the birds of the air. Will he not take care of us too? Please stand. For the wisdom to get our priorities in tune with those of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. That we may not judge success by what we earn or what we own, we pray to the Lord. That our governments, local, provincial, and national, may ensure a fair distribution of our country's wealth. We pray to the Lord. For all who have been affected by the flooding in Calgary and the surrounding districts, we pray to the Lord. For those who have requested our prayers and for their intentions, we pray to the Lord for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, teach us wisdom of heart. May we never judge people by what they have, but by who they are. In Christ's name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this mem memorial of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all our bishops. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another that peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. With those of you at home, join with me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Our thanks to two donors. The first, a parishioner of St. John the Baptist Parish in Halifax, Nova Scotia. The second is the Ferraro family from Scarborough, Ontario. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible.